Hi, I'm your Town of Isaac Supervisor, Angie Carpenter, and you're going to be seeing a video that really highlights some of the things that the recruits went through, and now they are our new park rangers and new fire marshals uh, here in the town of Islip. And on behalf of the Islip Town Board and all of us in the town, please know that as you head out on your day-to-day -day duties, that you have our deepest gratitude for all that you do. It's not an easy time to be in law enforcement, so please know we respect you, we honor you, and we will always have your back. Hi, my name is Tony D'Amico. I'm the Commissioner of Public Safety for the Town of Islip. Today we're in the gym class, uh, the tact physical and tactics class for the uh, park ranger recruits and the fire marshal recruits that are going through the Peace Officer Academy. So this is the fourth academy that the town has run. It's a Peace Officer Academy that's required by the New York State Division of Criminal Justice Services. Um, the people that are going through the academy are park rangers that are newly hired from the town of Islip. We have six. We also have an airport uh, security officer and we have five fire marshals. So in uh, January of 2020, the state legislator decided to uh, make fire marshals from the town of Islip peace officers. As part of that status, we had to train them as peace officers. So the academy is basically comprised of half academics and half physical and tactics. So they're basically running about 18 days of training of required training to meet the standards that are pushed out by DCJS. And then we added additional days of training to get the more specific kind of Islip type things that they're gonna need for their day-to-day -day jobs. Okay, so we, we started the academy about two weeks ago. So we're roughly five, six days into the academy. What we're doing now, we're standing in a tactics class. Um, pretty much they've been getting academic uh, training from uh, law, some procedure, ethics, you know, we're dealing with some uh, mental illness issues. So they have a pretty wide variety of uh, academic training. In the tactics, we try to teach them how to defend themselves in the event that they're attacked, or they have to uh, place somebody under arrest and the person uh, fails to comply, or they, they turn around and actually want to fight with the um, park rangers. We want them to go home safe at the end of the day. So we're teaching them how to defend themselves. So the, the program is about six weeks long. So we've been running our academy um, required stuff Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday during the week. Monday and Friday, we've been adding additional training to them. At the end of the six weeks, which will come out about um, March 16th of this year, they'll graduate. The park rangers will then go to firearms training. They'll spend another two weeks of learning how to handle their firearm, and they'll be issued, um, they'll be armed while on patrol. The fire marshals have already been hired. They're already doing investigations. They're already getting um, their code compliant. They are certified uh, New York State code officers and they can uh, enforce the fire code. So the fire marshals will go back into their offices after they graduate the academy and they'll be able to go back out and resume their duties. Uh, as far as the park rangers, they'll experience some more in the field training. They'll be riding alongside of more experienced park rangers or sergeants and uh, eventually they'll be uh, released to a uh, position during one of the odd uh, shifts, whether it's midnight shift, day shift, or evening shift, where they're going to be patrolling the parks, the marinas, the docks, and town buildings. The one unique thing about this training program, it's we're the only town that I'm aware of that runs the training. The other places that run bigger training is like New York City Police Department, Nassau County, Suffolk, they all have police academies. Um, the Sheriff Department runs a police academy and they also run a Peace Officer Academy. That's one of the reasons we used to send our people to the Sheriff's Academy. We wound up having a need to run the training and the Sheriff's uh, Department did not have any training on. So we were able to start up our own academy and it's been very successful. Um, the instructors that are here are all people that work for the town and they're all certified with New York State as instructors. They all take pride in their work. And it's, uh, I've, seen a, I've seen a change in morale and um, just a sense of duty and honor from some of the people that have been participating within the academy. We gave the uh, park ranger sergeants and park rangers that are helping us uh, run the academy, we gave them ownership as part, you know, part of the academy. We bought equipment for them, as you can see in the background. They have pads. Um, you know, we, we bought them uh, all different types of training gear that they need. But we also send them for training and we've been using them. I've been teaching alongside of them in the classroom. 
I've seen a, a difference and change in them, even when it comes to the basic inspection in the morning. You know, with the officer that's doing the inspection of the recruits has to make sure that their uniform's looking good, that their shoes are shined, that their head, hair is cut, that they're shaved. So we try to make sure that everybody's looking sharp, acting sharp, and I, I've seen a big change. You know, they're very happy. They come to work to do the training, uh, to perform the training, and the, the students are happy to be here.